we all want to be healthy. And that means that we have the health and the energy and vitality to be able to live the life that we want to live. And I know some of you are thinking about that for 2023. I know I certainly am. You know, no matter where we are on our health journey, you know, we could be super healthy and that's fantastic, but there's always another level. And some of us may be going through some health challenges, like, you know, our cholesterol's rising, our blood pressure's rising, we've got heart disease or type 2 diabetes or any other disease. You know, you may be like me, like I was 13 years ago. 13 years ago, I was obese and I found myself depressed, sad, unfulfilled. I was in a career that I no longer enjoyed. I wasn't happy and it led to a heart attack. And I'm here to tell you that it's totally possible to transform your health. I was able to get off all meds, lose 35 kilos, gain enough energy to go do an Ironman triathlon. You know, life is meant to be fun. It's meant to be happy, it's meant to be joyful. It's not meant to be stressful and strung out and under pressure. You know, after the heart attack, I learned some skills and I changed my focus. And I focused on these two things that really produced incredible results, that transformed my life. And number one was this. I transformed and refocused on what I ate. Number two was this formula that was basically a roadmap. And I want to share it with you. I want to give it to you now. And once you follow this roadmap, you're going to be able to produce the health and energy and life you want. And it doesn't just relate to health. It relates to anything in life. If you follow this roadmap, you will produce incredible results with your life. The first thing that we need to focus on in this roadmap is what do we want? What do you want? What do you want in 2023? You need to get super clear on that. Number two is you need to know why you really want it. Okay? That's the, the why gives you the power to follow it through when things get tough. And things will get tough. That's part of life. Right? So we need a big enough why. I do the seven deep whys. Like, you know, why do I want it? I come up with an answer and then I go, well, why do I want that? And then I go, why do I want that? I do it seven times. So I get this deep emotional whys that drive me. The third thing in this roadmap to the life that you really want is you need to have the right strategy. And I was lucky enough to find a strategy that taught me how to eat a whole food plant-based diet and it served me well. It took a while to learn it, but once I learned how to do it properly, you know, it's produced incredible results for me. And not only me, you know, I've taught thousands of people to do this now, and the same thing happens to them. Once they learn how to do it, they produce incredible results. So you've got to have the right strategy. And once you've got the strategy, then you've got to get momentum. You've got to get started. You've got to start doing it. You've got to start making the food, putting it in your mouth, okay? You've got to start moving your body. You've got to go and start producing the actions. The biggest mistake people make, they go out and they smash it on their first training session, right? And they're so sore the next day, it's so painful, they never want to do it again. Okay, I used to do that. Please don't do that, okay? Okay, I've learned a better strategy. And that is, you know, just start out slow and build and build on it and build on it each day, each week, each month. And do it to the point where it's enjoyable. And then once you link the pleasure to it, you're going to want to do more of it. That's the key. So you've got to get momentum. And you've got to get momentum to the point where you enjoy it. Then you need to measure your progress. It's the biggest mistake a lot of people make. They don't measure the progress. We need to measure our progress. So you need to create a system in place where you know that everything's heading in the right direction. My blood numbers are heading in the right direction. My waist is heading in the right direction. The scales are heading in the right direction. You know, I'm, my food, the meals I'm eating are heading in the right direction. I'm not dropping the ball and you know, eating the stuff that produces bad health, but I'm consistently eating more and more and more of the foods that produce good health. We need to measure this stuff. We need to track it because we can't improve what we don't measure. Big key, measure it, okay? And the final thing that we need to do, we need to have a look at, are the 
actions we're doing producing the result. And if they're not, we need to adjust the, our actions. We might find that, okay, by measuring it, that, hey, things aren't moving in the right direction. Then we go and look at, well, I actually only ate two or three meals for the whole week that were leading me in the right direction. The other stuff was heading me in the other direction, not the direction I wanna go. So we need to adjust our actions and tweak it so that we keep producing the actions that lead us in the right direction. If you follow that formula, you're gonna be super successful. You're gonna have the health and the energy and vitality. So my question to you is this, I'd love to know, what do you want in 2023? And why do you want it? Please put a comment below this video. I'd love to read it and I wish you an amazing 2023.